So the first thing I want to think is if I expand this, I should be able to set my coefficients equal to this. So all I have to do is go through and start foiling. So if I multiply my first one, I should get three X to the fourth and then plus U X squared and then plus three R X squared. And finally R times U. So a little foiling. And then I just distribute my T. So three T X to the fourth plus U T X squared plus three R T X squared. And finally plus R U T. And then uh, we try to categorize them based on their X power. So I would say my X to the fourth term is equal to my X to the fourth term, specifically my coefficient. So I know 12 is equal to three T. Therefore, my T is going to be equal to four, which makes all this much easier. That just means this is going to be four U um, X squared plus three times four, 12 R X squared. And then this one is just plus four R U. And then finally, I can say my X squared term is equal to my X squared term. So this is where I just set my coefficients equal. I can say Q is equal to four U plus 12 R. And then, so my Q term is defined. And finally we have our C at the end. My negative 180 should be equal to four R U. So I'll do that up here. Negative 180 is equal to four R U or divide by four and I get negative 45 is equal to R U. So not too bad, we have everything expanded. We have our three terms. And finally, they wanna know which one of the following is a non-integer. So it's not as bad as it looks. Um, Q over T, so what I can notice from my Q term is this is times four, this is times 12, everything is divisible by four. So T, remember, is four, everything in Q is divisible by four, so this is definitely going to be an integer. In B, we already know T is four, so 12 over four is an integer. In C, R over U. So this is where we want to remember R times U is negative 45. Therefore, R and U just have to be factors of negative 45. So that could be one and 45 or, you know, negative one and 45, but it could also be like negative five and nine. Well, I could do negative five over nine or nine over negative five, and both of those are not going to be integers. So C definitely already works, but just to roll out D 180 over U, um, remember that U just has to be a factor of negative 45. 180 is going to be divis divisible by all factors of negative 45. So that's going to be an integer.